G'day everyone, Jason here. As you can see, perfect blue sky here today. So it's the ideal day to look at two different ways we maximize the use of the sun while we're out camping. All right, so the first one is the obvious one and that is solar panels. So the Chicana we've got here comes standard with 150 watts on the roof. We've optioned the extra one to get to, to 200 watts, uh, which in my opinion is a no-brainer. They also come standard with a, a regular deep cycle battery in the back under the kitchen. Uh, and we've optioned the lithium battery in that. Um, two worthwhile upgrades. But we've augmented that a little bit. If we swing around here. So we can see here, I've got a, a 300 watt blanket um, down on the floor there. And that's running to a second deep cycle battery, uh, lithium battery that I've got under the drawbar there. Let's just have a closer look at that setup for a minute. All right, so first up, I will remove my um, temporary sunshade, which I will need to do something a bit more permanently about one of these days. Get you up there. All right, so what we've got is, I'll move that out of the way as well. So there's the, the 300 watt solar blanket over there, over there. That is running to the solar controller here. I saw someone doing a YouTube analysis of this and they reckon that the closer your controller is to the battery, the more efficient it runs. So we've got the blanket coming to the solar controller, solar controller then plugged into the battery box. So there's a 100 amp hour lithium battery under that. Now, on the other side of the battery box, we've got this other cable there, which is the Anderson plug that connects to the trailer itself. And then that then feeds into the rest of the system. So between the 100 amp hours here, the 100 or so amp hours of lithium battery in the back and under the, in the kitchen, plus 200 watts on the roof, 300 watts there, we've got 500 watts of solar running to about 200 amp hours of power. In other words, we have bucket loads. All right, so the second one we've got going on, which is a little bit less obvious, is a regular snap lock bag here, sitting on a black plastic lid from a food storage container that we've got. You might have seen the uh, black uh, camp showers. Same kind of principle. Put some water in, leave it sit there in the sun, especially on this black surface. We left our, our uh, camp shower thing at home because uh, we forgot it and we're clever like that. Uh, but that does the same job. That hasn't been there very long and I can feel that starting to warm up already. Give that an hour and that'll be super hot. If you've got to do dishes or fill up a, a, another kind of camp shower or anything like that, that'll work a treat. So that's it, nice quick one for me today. Don't know if you can hear the waves crashing in the background behind me, but um, worked up a bit of a sweat doing that. So time to hit the water, I think. See you in the next one. Oh wow, that's really hot. And if you can see the bubbles in there, it's almost like it started to boil. All right, ouch, this is hot. <laughs> There's um, steam coming off of that.